Hello, in this video we will start with the question what is the chi-square test and how do I interpret the results. At the end I will show you how you can easily calculate the chi-square test online with DataTab. Let's start. When do we use the chi-square test? The chi-square test is used when you want to investigate if there is a relationship between two categorical variables. The question is what is a categorical variable? Categorical variables, for example, are gender with male and female, the preferred newspaper, for example, the Washington Post, New York Times, the US Today, or frequency of television, daily, several times per week, more rarely or never, or the highest educational level. No categorical variable is body size, body weight, or the salary, for example. If we want to investigate the relationship between two categorical variables, we need the chi-square test. Therefore, if we want to investigate if there is a relationship between gender or preferred newspaper, you need the chi-square test. Or, if you want to investigate gender and frequency of television, if you want to investigate if there is a relationship between preferred newspaper and frequency of television, or the last example, if you want to investigate frequency of television and the highest educational level. So, always if you have two categorical variables, you need the chi-square test in order to investigate if there is a relationship between these two variables. Imagine we want to investigate if there is a relationship between gender and highest educational level. For this purpose, we simply do a small survey where we ask the people what their gender is. And we ask them what the highest educational level is. This questionnaire we will send randomly to people. And all of them will answer these two questions. The outcome is this table where each row is one case. So the first person is male and the highest educational level is college. The second person is female with the highest educational level without graduation. This table can now be used for a statistical software like DataTab. If we copy this table into DataTab, DataTab will give us this cross table. In this table, you can see the two categorical variables. At the one side, you see the highest educational level and at the other side, you see the variable gender. Each cell represents how often a certain combination occurs. For example, without graduation and female, we count six persons. So six persons in this table answered they are female and without graduation. Or seven person answered they are male and without graduation. So now the question is, is there a relationship between gender and highest educational level. So, is there a correlation between gender and the highest level of education? In order to answer this question, we simply use the chi-square test. Now there are two ways to calculate the chi-square. One way is to simply use a statistics software like DataTab. Or you can calculate the chi-square by hand and use the critical value of the chi-square table. I will start how you can easily calculate the chi-square test online with DataTab. In order to do this, please visit datatab.net and then click on the statistics calculator. If you want to use your own data, you need to clear this table. Now you can copy your own data. I have prepared these example data. So I simply select them and copy them into this table. Now, because we want to calculate a chi-square test, we simply click on this tab and we want to investigate the two variables, gender and highest educational level. Therefore, we simply click on gender and highest educational level. Because we select two categorical variables, DataTab will automatically calculate a chi-square test. So, here we can see the table of the observed frequencies. So we see how often occurs female and without graduation. 
six times. Or how often does male occur without graduation? Seven times. In the table below, you see the expected frequency or perfectly independent variable. So if there's no connection or relationship between gender and highest educational level, this table would normally be the outcome. Therefore, we want to compare this table with this table. And we can see the results here. So in this case, the p-value is 0.918. For sure, this p-value is quite high and for sure it is higher than 0.05, our significance level. So in this case, we will not reject the null hypothesis and the outcome is that there's no relationship between gender and the highest educational level. So again, we used DataTab in order to calculate the results for the chi-square test. The outcome is that we have a p-value of 0.981. And because this value is higher than our significance level of 5%, we will not reject null hypothesis. So for p-values smaller than 0.05, the null hypothesis is rejected. In our case, we have a p-value of 0.981, which is for sure higher than 0.05. And therefore, we will not reject the null hypothesis. And therefore, there's no relationship between gender and highest educational level. And now I'd like to show you how you can calculate the chi-square test by your own. Here we can see the table of the observed frequencies. Further, we need a table where we can compare the observed frequencies. So we need the table of the expected frequencies. In this case, the expected frequencies is a table when the variables are perfectly independent. So now we want to compare the observed frequencies with the expected frequencies. And we can calculate the chi-square. This we can do by simply using this equation. What does it mean for this example? For example, we compare each cell of this table with each cell of this table. So we choose 6 minus 6.08 divided by the expected frequency 6.08. And then we take the next cell. We calculate 7 minus 6.92 squared divided by the expected frequency of 6.92 and if we do this for all cells we will get chi-square of 0.504. So now we have calculated the chi-square with 0.504 and we know the degree of freedom which is in this case 3 so it's the number of rows minus 1 times the number of columns number one so we have three times one which is three and now we can have a look at the table of critical chi-square this table you can find at data tab and because we have a significance level of five percent and we have a degree of freedom of three our critical chi-square value is 0.815 so, because the calculated chi-square value of 0.504 is smaller than the critical chi-square value of 7.815, we will not reject the null hypothesis. So, we have the calculated chi-square value and we have the critical chi-square value and our calculated chi-square value is smaller than the critical value. So we will not reject the null hypothesis. So the result is the same if we are using data tab or doing the calculations by hand. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and see you soon. Bye.